We've all suffered over the last two years. You all have your own story about what that suffering is. This is your time to say how badly this whole thing was handled and how you never want to go through this again. And that can never happen with, with centralized control. We need local control. This is how you actually maintain freedom. It's with local control. So we cannot seed our medical decisions higher and higher up the line. We have to keep them for ourselves and our individuals and in, in whatever caregivers you need. They don't have to be those sanctioned and coerced into telling the, the mainstream line. You can seek out your own caregivers. For me, it's always, you know, the, the most important thing is to keep the most important thing is the most important thing. Uh, as simply put, uh, it's always priorities. Uh, in, in response to this pandemic, it's, it's, it's blatant. It's obvious that there was reclassification of some types of illnesses and a very high number of unnecessary fatalities that occurred only because of the protocol used to treat people. Only. That, that was the pandemic right there. And there were excess deaths. So everything about the response has been wrong. Not even getting into the source of it, which is a whole other issue. And during this time, many people have, have succumbed to even other illnesses. The opioid overdose uh, numbers were up almost 20% at the end of the pandemic versus before, and they were already at record levels. Those are people who are in the, not even in the prime of their life yet, now having to deal with additional isolation. This whole response caused death. Not, I can't find any benefit. It was only a negative. So in response to that, there should be, you know, massive lawsuits and uh, stepping back from power instead of digging in and making people having to submit their rights to one thing which I can find no historical evidence of ever happening. That's right. He's talking about the 1918 pandemic, the fact that they lie about the numbers of the people yeah. who died. Fauci okay? uses they that every single thing, time. I can find 100 number... instances of Fauci mentioning that, probably 500. He leads every conversation, another 1918 pandemic. I've gone through the population data. I can't find 50 to 100 missing million, million people missing in 1918. It never happened. It was a complete failed extrapolation of a couple of eyewitness accounts. And they continue to push this, this story as the reason why we must submit rights because of some emerging germ of a protein of a bat that, that you know, you know, kicks boots with a snake in a market and this so stupid where people stupid. have real health issues from 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 drug addiction from all of these stupid electronics from the foods that we are that that we're eating you know that's we want health problems we have plenty of health problems to talk about so that's why i go after that one story so hard because it's always used as the kickoff as to why this mu these rights must be submitted in this particular situation. And I've also looked at the smallpox uh, uh, stories as well and have known that that has been greatly, greatly exaggerated, probably by almost 600 times the death totals. And they refuse to review these things. So anyways, sorry, I know that I just but, totally but blew Mark, my 90 Mark, seconds out of the water. But I, I have a question. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little ugh, right now. Well, yeah, well, how do you really feel about it, though? I'm not quite sure I'm oh. clear. Well, that's how I really feel about it. Well, I get it, man. You know, uh, you Listen, know, folks, I'm, that's hearing, exactly... I'm hearing my government right now. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little bit off subject saying that we need to protect our democracy. Well, guess what? I can find 110,000 people that died of drug over this last year that can't vote anymore. Well, what about them? Well, I mean, I know this. There's, there's, there's uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we make bad decisions. Uh, there's 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 a variety of things that have led to that. Uh, but, you know, there's absolutely no. How many times have I called my congresswoman to say, can you please just have a public awareness about repressed pills on the street? No. Refuse. Refuse to even mention it. It's 106,000 times the death total of, of January 6th. And then it was 100,000 the year before that. Refusal to admit it, to me, is complicit in mass assassination of U.S. citizens. And if you're dead, you can't vote. Instead... You know, there's this, uh, you know, talking about people whose feelings were hurt because things were said that were bad. No, 
I look at that. I look at the death protocol from remdesivir. These are the health issues. This is, if the World Health Organization wants to knock themselves out dealing with these things, great. Willing to give some tax dollars. Let's work together. But no, it's only working, worrying about one thing, which doesn't happen. That's the, it's, it's not at the top of the list. And if it's not at the, every, every instance of massive corruption which has ever happened in history involves a major component of take knocking problems or addressing problems out of order priority. If, if, if that doesn't happen, then well, then probably the right decisions are being made. So again, I'm, I'm a little fired up, especially about this suggestion that Americans now somehow hate democracy. Uh, and it does tie into this issue. How many people died because of the, I'm just going to say it, the remdesivir death protocol which is specifically oriented towards people who go up to hospitals who aren't of a particular medical status. And of course, there was an engineered remdesivir shortage, which created a situation to say, you know what, we should give more remdesivir to people who are of a particular jabination status. This is what the World Health Organization should be talking about. It is, it is literally a death protocol right now, which is, which is uh, uh, and the problems are just not being addressed in the order of priority. So uh, so that's why I keep talking about this 1918 flu. I didn't bring it up first. Fauci brought it up first at least a thousand times over the course of his uh, c career, uh, during which time, by the way, an additional 30 million people were found to have died going from 1980 to 2020. Uh, every time he talks, the number gets a little bit higher. Um,